My name's Mark, welcome back to the shop, and we are mixing today a shop chat and a uh, question time video. Wow! So this is the collision of two great video series. <laughs> My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're having another relaxed shop chat. So all I seem to do nowadays is because I can't be fucking bothered half the time. So, what we're talking about today, someone asked a very good question, and they said, uh, when you're doing rebuild stuff or whatever, or when you're about to do something, how do you know something, anything, how, when you're about to basically, you know, open something up or do a rebuild or whatever, how do you know... Is there a rule of what you should get prior? So, if I open that drawer, it's not there. That's fucking fantastic. So, in here, what do I have? Bits and pieces. So, I know, um, I've just bought a lot of pe pe parts. This is from Fowler's. Uh, yes. So, I know I'm going to do the clutch on the SV. I've got loads of bits in here. So I've got um, uh, some new studs. So you know that I bought the new nuts for the XJ because they were fucked. On closer inspection, some of the actual uh, studding was knackered. So I bought that in preparation for that. All the rest of this stuff is rubbish. This is nothing, this is just that. Some Viton samples. We need to use them soon. Some washers. That was for Isaac's ped, but they didn't fit. Clever Isaac. But for the SV, because I know I'm going to do this, um, obviously I have the friction plates. So they're the friction plates because I know the new clutch is coming. So because I know the new clutch is coming, I might as well prepare myself in other ways as well. So what bits am I going to need? If I'm going to do the clutch, I've bought myself some new springs, so some EBC springs. I took off the, um, when I did the chain, the chain change for the XJ, the washer that holds on the thing was fucked and I was going to buy this beforehand but absolutely forgot and it's a bit too late now. So when we do the other speed experiments and stuff, we'll end up changing that. But I got some EBC springs with my clutch kit. I then obviously bought the new clutch, but there are other things that I bought. Um, they're injector, that's nothing, that's injectors. So part of the clutch system, that's brake seals. I accidentally bought two for the rear, so I'll keep them. Um, I bought, something missing oh no it's there yeah so i bought a new uh, for the clutch that's a new seal for the hydraulic clutch i've also bought a new spring why because this spring costs one pound 20 this seal costs like two quid if this seal rips and tears then you know you've got another one but i'm going to replace it with a new one anyway it's done you know forty-seven thousand miles if i'm going to go in there and change the clutch line, so this one, this new hell clutch line, if I'm going to change the clutch line, I might as well um, change the chicken parts. You know, that clutch line costs like 30 quid. New fluid, get the new seals, get a new spring. These, uh, and what, all I do is I go down the parts and go, fucking hell, that new spring's like £1.20. Just get the fucking spring. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. There's also, I don't know how that's gone, it's probably in another, probably up there in that other back box of parts um, I also got the big rubber Johnny seal that seals the whole thing in um, but how do you decide what you're going to need so uh, for the uh, RG 500 the first thing I buy is stuff that I know I'm going to end up replacing so real high torque application nuts so the clutch basket nut I've got a new one of them the uh, crush uh, the um, folded tab washer the uh, locking washer 
it's gonna be fucked. We took it out, it was fucked already. So I'm, I've already bought a new one of them. I said in the video, I went, oh look, fucking hell, I've got them already. I'm ahead of myself. But um, it's parts that you know that are either cheap and it's well worth doing. Little O-rings, stuff like that, something like 80p and stuff like that. Buy a new one. The reason why is, as you're taking it apart, you might rip it, tear it, lose it or whatever. If you have a spare one in there and you put that one in fresh, then fucking tickety-boo. If you've got your old one, you take it out, you put it in the bag, you keep it, and then you put your new one in and you rip, lose or whatever that new one, at least you've got your old one as a spare. That kind of thing, that kind of mentality. It's thinking of all the things that need anything that's really high torque, so like the nuts and stuff that you know these nuts a lot of these k nuts and stuff are these really high torque nuts they're really designed to go on once and once only and they do tell you to replace them people have been in this gearbox three or four times easily and that nut i doubt they've ever replaced so i'm going to replace that with a new one stuff like that it's just um you know the common sense type things we're going to do the front brakes um you know when, when we did the rear brake the spring and the pin, you know, you look at the pin, you wire brush it. Well, you wire brush it, you've taken a lot of the zinc off, even though it was little dibble dabble dots of rust. Now you take the whole thing off, now that whole thing's gonna rust, and fuck that. The pin was like fucking eight quid. You know what I mean? New rubber seals, well, why not? I'm in there now, I'm putting new pads in, cleaning the calipers completely, putting new grease, new fluid, and new everything in. I may as well then fit these things that I'm there anyway, you know, instead of it leaking, going wrong, so much shit, and having to take the whole thing apart. So the general rule of thumb, in a sense, is look how expensive these OEM parts are, and anything that's delicate can rip, be torn, whatever, and high-torque application stuff, just get new ones. Some things you just have to do out of experience. Um, you know, when I get a gasket kit, when I get a head gasket kit, I make sure that them head gasket kits have the umbrella um, o-ring seals for the valves and while I'm there I might as well fucking replace them because I'm there doing it. I don't want to put that head together and then a thousand miles down the road a valve starts leaking oil and I'm blowing it out my ass like it's going out of fashion. You know what I mean? Because then you have to take the whole fucking head apart, get in there, replace them seals, jobs are good and you know, and some of these things, they cost for call. People are a bit scared by OEM stuff, you know, it's like they say, you go and buy a gear and it's like 60 quid, it's like, well, yeah, that's just how much they cost, you know, or you go and buy a bear and it's like, it's 23 quid, oh, I didn't want to spend that, but, you know, the generally the stuff that's wear and tear that you do need, like I say, thrust washers, every time I open a clutch, I've got one for the SV, that nut, so the SV clutch, I'll show you when it arrives, I'll do a little video like this where I'll show you what I've got for the SV before we even start the project. And as you've seen we've got springs and johnnies and seals and stuff for the hydraulic side of things, new copper washers, new uh, bolts, banjo bolts, new lines, and then for the actual clutch basket side of things I went and got um, the inner sleeve, the Torrington bear, did I get the Torrington, no I think that, no it doesn't come with it, I did it, I got the Torrington bearing, the roller bearing, not Torrington bearing, there's also a flat thrust washer bearing, I got the new bearing for that as well, it was 8 quid, I've just gone and spent 220 quid on a fucking clutch, what's 8 quid, you know what I mean, so all of the bearings and the wearing surfaces, the flat thrust washers like this bad boy, you know, stuff like this, if you measure them, they're probably on titty on, on the end of the spec, especially when a clutch that's going shit up creek, like the, the SV one is because the clutch has shit the bed all the bearing surfaces and stuff in like that I want to change I'm going to put new you know new uh, friction pads in it the steel discs will be completely fine I'm guessing um, basically what you want to be mindful of is all them little things that will stop you completing the job I make sure I've got enough stuff that when I open it up and the you imagine that there's a, a, a flat um, radial load bearing in that clutch. Can you imagine if I open that up and two of the fucking uh, rollers have popped out and they're in the little strainer that's inside the clutch side. I'd be like, oh fuck, now I've got to wait a week because they don't have them on stock. I've got to wait a week for that to turn up, for instance. It's like, how much is it? Eight quid. And then you go, oh! You know what I mean? It's all out of experience. I've been here before, I've done this before, and had to wait two weeks. I waited three weeks for the main part to turn up and then I have to wait an additional two weeks for another part to turn up. So it's, there isn't, I can't tell you 
everything and how to solve everything. It's just that, if, especially if you're buying major components, you spend 210, 20 quid on a fucking clutch. Eight quid bearings, nothing, you know what I mean? If it is going to stop you doing the whole job. For the SV, I need to drain out the coolant and the fucking water to get at the clutch. I could get away with not uh, draining out the oil, actually, just tip it over like it is. Um, but, nah, uh, you know what I mean? But I have to drain out the coolant, I have to drain out the oil and all that shit. I do not want to be going back in there again. You know, it's as simple as that. And, and then you've got to think, right, I'm going to drain out the coolant. The seals, all the seals that go with the cooling system, they all have to be bought as well. Just in case I rip one tear, one drop, one one goes missing, it explodes. It's not even there. You know what I mean? Because the last thing you want to do is fit your brand new clutch to the going, let's go ride, and then it's pissing coolant out everywhere. Fuck. Then you have to sit and wait for another bloody week or two weeks. Or maybe you need it like I do to get around to work and all the rest of it. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.